Rent in a trendy Philadelphia neighborhood could soon be going up, and it's all because of a nonprofit in the works. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo is live in Northern Liberties with why those behind the idea think it's needed and why some others are saying no thanks, Matt. Well, those behind the idea say, look, more than a dozen communities in Philadelphia already have those improvement districts like Center City on South Street and East Pass Yonk. They think it's time Northern Liberties gets its own to fill some of those vacant storefronts here on North 2nd Street. Northern Liberties is one of the hottest and most expensive places to live in Philadelphia, but while new homes here keep getting built, Commercial redevelopment in Northern Liberties has lagged behind the residential. Matt Rubin wants to change that. He's starting a new nonprofit called the Northern Liberties Business Improvement District. What's going to make people want to come to this corridor as an experience? The nonprofit would increase weekly trash pickups, make upgrades to buildings, and attract more shops to the area. Many business owners are on board, like William Reed of the Standard Tap. But when you look at the benefits that you get from it, it's you know with safety, street cleaning, all these. But not everyone wants to pay for it. I honestly feel like the city should already be taking care of that. To be honest with you. The owner of the Art Layer Shave Parlor worries landlords may pass the cost of the district onto tenants like himself. That's because it'd be funded by a tax levied on commercial properties. The average fee would amount to roughly $750 a year. Homeowners would be exempt. Rent's already pretty high. Right now, it's very expensive. Lois O'Neill, owner of the Keystone Industrial Sewing Machine Company, thinks she pays enough in taxes. But Councilman Mark Squilla, who represents part of the district, says an improved neighborhood should also mean more traffic for businesses. People are looking at it as an investment more, more so than a cost to doing business. And yesterday, a public hearing was held about the uh, Northern Liberties Business Improvement District. It's now set to go in effect in June unless 30 percent of property owners writes to City Hall saying they do not want it here. We're live in Northern Liberties tonight. Matt Petrillo, CBS3 Eyewitness News.